15 live Doppler. 615 on your Tuesday morning, a beaming red sunrise over Vulcan. Really pretty sight. We've got some clouds overhead too. 76 degrees and it is a little bit muggy outside. We still have that southerly wind. Some showers on WVTM 13 live Doppler radar. They're very light, uh, hardly anything to make mention of. But if you stepped outside or if you've looked on radar this morning, they're definitely there. Spotty in parts of Jefferson County. They're now moving out of Walker, uh, mainly in Coleman County. A few active in Blunt County as well, but nothing to really uh, make a mess of your Tuesday morning. Really not anything at all. To the north and west, there's this disturbance that continues uh, to swirl and bring some energy this way. That's why we're seeing those showers in the northwest quadrant of Alabama. But east of us, uh, there's an area of high pressure. And that's why it is so dry across Georgia, even up toward the east coast. Very dry along there. Most of us stay dry today. Warm and humid at the start. Temperatures in the 70s. By lunchtime, we're looking at the upper 80s. Some of us hit 90 around noon and then thereafter. And then later this evening uh, into the later afternoon 4 p.m. Again, temperatures still in the 90s. It'll be really sunny in most spots and um, hot in some spots too. Best cloud cover and best chance of a shower today is north of I-20, closer to that disturbance. And you can see that on future radar here. Most of us stay dry today. Forecast is changing a little bit. I think our better chance of rain is now Wednesday. We get a big surge of moisture to come in with a northwest wind on Wednesday and also some better forcing for storms. It does look like a lot of them stay west of I-65 and uh, kind of favor this portion of the state. Still a little bit early, but something that we're watching. And again, this is just short term guidance. This is not exact heading into Wednesday. So a front comes through on Thursday. We'll see fewer storms then and maybe a few linger on Friday. After the front comes through, we see drier air into the weekend. It'll be nice highs in the upper 80s and morning lows in the 60s. Maddie. All right, Briley, 617, right?